Yo, this is your boy Fireworks. I'm back. We're going to talk about Game 5 and how terrible we played and how embarrassing the Lakers played. Oh my gosh. Next. Keepers gonna sniff, keepers gonna sniff, keepers gonna sniff. It's not your bitch. Yo, this is your boy Fireworks. Welcome back to Snoopers Gonna Snoop YouTube channel. If you haven't been here before, please make sure you go down and hit the like and subscribe button so I can stay in the algorithm. I want to be able to give you all more content, please. So if you don't mind doing that, hit that for me. Let's get into it, though. Last night, the Lakers played in game five, and we played like shit. Anthony Davis was on street clothes on the bench. The rest of the guys couldn't hit the backside of a barn. KCP, we thought was going to do something. LeBron is really the only guy that was playing like anything. I don't feel like the Lakers played aggressive. I don't feel like the Lakers even gave a damn. After Anthony Davis was gone, I feel like... What was the, I think I turned the game off, maybe halfway into the second quarter. I go to my phone and look on ESPN on halftime, and I think it's 66 to 36. Brother Lakers scored. 36 points in a half yesterday, yes. We saw that. That is un- fucking acceptable. LeBron, you got to do better. I don't care if you're 36. You are good enough to lead this team past this Phoenix Sun. Now, I don't know about Denver or Portland, but you got enough in you to get us past Phoenix. And last night was unacceptable. We should have took that game last night, went back to Staples to try to close it out in six. Now, this is going to have to go to seven. And I'm going to tell you right now, I wouldn't be surprised if you got the same energy from LeBron that you saw last night in a game seven at, at Phoenix. Because last night it seemed like he didn't give a shit. Turnovers, just playing loose and eh, like he should have came out killing to kill last night. Even if they did lose. Like I watched, I know you guys saw the Portland game last night, Portland versus Denver. Damian Lillard and them lost, but Damian gave him 50. At least, bro, you gotta go out like that, bro. If you a GOAT, if you a great, bro, you gotta go out like that. You can't go out like La Ho or like La Poop. That was trash last night. I have rights to say this shit. That was embarrassing. That was fucking, that might've been one of the most embarrassing games I've seen us play. Bro, I don't know if any of those Kobe teams or those Dwight Howard teams and Steve Nash teams that we have played that bad, bro. I really honestly don't. 36 points and a half? I honestly don't, bro. That was just unacceptable. So we're going back to LA, I think Thursday night for game six, or it's Thursday or, yeah, it's Thursday night, I think, for game six. So we got to get it together. We got to play. We got to come ready. It's urgent. This is one and done for us, okay? So we need to get the home fans in it. We need to get our spirit in it. We need to get aggressive. We need to go to the paint. We need to play big inside out. We need to play defense. We need to run off the screens better. We need to come off defense better, quicker, attack. We need to not make stupid plays. Schroeder went 0 for 8 yesterday, bro. That's just bullshit. And he wants to get a contract, bro. This guy literally wants to get a contract. He went 0 for 8 in the playoffs last night. In a crucial big game. That was a crucial game yesterday. If I want to put blame on anybody, I put blame on all, all of them. But I do put blame on LeBron because, bro, you the leader. You got to play better than that. You lose by 10. You don't lose by 30 sitting on the bench in the fourth quarter with your arms crossed, bro. You look silly. I don't know what the fuck he was thinking. Now, I got to give Phoenix some credit, okay? They came out scorching. They came out like their Spurs team back in the day when it was D-Wade. I think it was D-Wade in uh, LeBron's last trip. I think it was maybe game four or game five in San Antonio. And they came out, I think they shot in the first half 60%. Bro, they, they shot the lights out. And when you play against a team like that, bro, it's, it's really hard to beat a team that just hot. So I give Phoenix some credit. But Lakers should have played a lot better than they played, bro. That was unacceptable. They were getting beat by 30 at halftime, 31 at halftime. That can't happen. So we'll see what they're gonna do. Then the Clippers play tonight. We'll see what's gonna happen. But we're gonna see what's gonna what, what the Lakers is gonna do for game six. I'll be back with you all again if this is your first time here. Thank you for checking in with me. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. I'll holler at you all later. Thanks for tuning in with me.